Hey lovelies and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the Taurus reading. Um, I would like to say, I'm recording at the beginning of November. If it fits right with you now, then great. I don't really like to do time specific readings. So if you're watching this in a year's time, please take it and it resonates with you. You're watching it at the right time for you, okay? Please remember this is for the collective. You may resonate with it all, you may resonate with bits. Please just take the bits that suit you. Okay, lovelies. It is um, my plan, <laughs> time dependent, to be doing weekly reads for you, all for all your star signs. There will be, just by following the pattern of the last two, to be fair, what I've um, recorded tonight, a love romance aspect of it it feels to be what is happening at the moment as I help so many people whether they're in relationships or not dealing with the ins and outs of all what comes with that okay so Taurus let's see what you need to know today I'm using inner child tarot cards tonight Okay, Taurus. So we've got the Peter Pan card, which is the first card for you, Taurus. And that is a really a card of moving forwards and it almost feels like you're rising up above the people that are around you that aren't fitting with you at the moment that aren't necessarily on the same page as you and it doesn't mean that you're leaving them forever. It just feels like you're moving forward, like it almost feels like you're surging forward. There feels to be like a great big push going on at the moment. And it feels like you're surging forward and people just can't keep up, that haven't done their inner work, that haven't awakened fully, they haven't been listening to what the universe, the angels, spirit want them to do, okay? It feels very important to allow the natural movement forward what the universe is wanting to happen, okay? And then we've got, we've got the Ten of Hearts, Taurus, like there's so much love around you. And I want you to know that you're worthy and deserving of it. It feels almost like you're in a state of love yourself. There's been so much inner work going on, surging forwards, um, to actually learn to love you. And if you're not at that point now, that is where you need to be working towards. But I do feel for a lot of you, that is what where you've been working to. And if you think about what is the point of life, yes, we all have to earn money and all that physical 3D carry on. But if you're thinking about it in a energetic spiritual way, which seems to have been quite on the top of a lot of agendas just lately, and I feel like it's quite specific to you Tauruses, but I know I've been thinking about it, but that is probably because of the work I do and the people I deal with. And actually, at the end of the day, what you're all working towards is to love you, to be in union with yourself, to be completely happy with you, and then to find love, and finding love with you first, but then actually with a partnership. So, that inner work you've been doing is really paying off and it is bringing more love towards you. I feel like there's just that much love around you and within you, you've got no other choice but to be in love with life, be in love with yourself and accept the love that's being offered to you, okay? And actually believe you are worthy of it, okay? It feels like it's been a long time coming in something you've waited for, for a long, long time. And that is the child of hearts. And she's looking down the garden path, waiting, okay? 
so it feels like it's been a long time coming but it's finally coming and you really really need to believe in it okay and then we've got the big bad wolf card <laughs> now i don't want anybody to panic about this card okay but it does signify that there is either inner demons because you're not believing you've got an inner fight with yourself or there's outside influences that are putting you down not allowing you to believe in you not allowing you to move forwards it feels very like they're trying to change through your inner knowing whether it's you trying to talk yourself out of it or there's an outside influence and what i want to say to you is keep reconnecting back to your heart you know your truth it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks i almost want to like throw them away let it go don't let it worry you it's not going to pull you backwards unless you let it and you're not going to because you're aware of it because you're watching this and then we've got the seven of hearts and that is a, a card of contentment being very in the now being very in your own unique light um, so really do try to be not worrying about a month's time, not worrying about next year, not worrying about 10 years time. Don't waste the energy of now on worrying about what isn't happening yet. Just concentrate on what is happening today. How are you feeling today? What is good about today? Focus on that. Be content with that. Be content what's coming you've got so much love coming there's really not a lot not to be content about so please just focus on the good you've got going on around you it feels a very inner time focusing on you and reconnecting with you and being very aware of you and how you're feeling okay but there is love coming there there's a masses and masses and masses of love around you complete total contentment with love okay thank you so very much for joining me it's always a pleasure if you would like your own specific reading please visit the rainbow of light.com there is offers on there at the moment or you can email me direct emma at the rainbow of light.com please sub subscribe to the channel it is so much appreciated and I look forward to seeing you next week. I'm actually quite interested to see how your inner work is manifesting in your physical next week. Stay tuned, folks. Thank you so very much. Take care. Bye.